hate to admit this, but I was notorious for ghosting people back in the day. And it is not something that I'm proud of. Unfortunately, it's not something that I would wish on anyone. And this is exactly why I've decided to make this video because I just want to share with you guys why it is so immature, why it is so just unnatural for us to ghost people and to just kind of shut the door on another human being without talking it out, without explaining, without even just having a normal conversation. Now, I do want to preface this by saying that it is in some situations okay to go someone, but those situations are very far and few in between. This could be like a very abusive environment or a dynamic in which you're literally unsafe to express yourself. But in most situations, we are not ghosting people that are harming us or that we're fearful of. We're simply ghosting people that we just don't really have the emotional maturity or the energy to talk to. It's really, really stupid looking back now um, as to why I would have done this. I think that everyone, like I said, obviously, not people who are harming you or doing something horrible to you, but naturally, if you care about someone, even just as a friend, they deserve communication from you. They deserve a word from you. They deserve, even if it's just a goodbye, they deserve that. It's funny because sometimes when you're the one inflicting that pain onto someone, you don't really realize the impact of it. But when you're on the receiving end or when you hear someone else do it, then it really clicks and you realize how wrong it was of you to do that. So that moment for me particularly was when one of my good friends, um, she had been dating and she had gone out on a date or a few dates actually with this guy from one of the dating apps. And for some reason, she just didn't really feel a connection. She didn't think that they were a good match. She didn't want to go on any other dates with him. And instead of sending him a message and telling him, you know, I wish you all the best, but I don't really believe that we have any connection or, uh, you know, I think that we're better off meeting other people, she decided to ghost him. And when she told me this, like a part of my heart just hurt for a second because I remember that I used to do that. And I remember that in a way, I kind of used to joke about it. Some people boast about it because for some people it feeds their ego. It feeds this desire for them to be more powerful, to be the superior individual in the dynamic. Um, but it's actually far from that. I would say you are the weaker individual if you go someone because you're not even awarding them the decency of a conversation, of a closure. And closure is important for us humans. I mean, have you ever read a book that just stops midway through in the middle of a sentence? No, right? And it's because it's completely unnatural for us to, to not have an ending, to not have a period to not have an actual closing whether it's for a song or a movie or a book or a relationship and so I just want to advise you guys to stop ghosting people because it is not beneficial and in a way I think that this is like an overall trend of society that we have become so disconnected from one another we're on our phones, we're on our computers, we're on all these devices, but a lot of our relationships are quite shallow if we don't even have the words to have a heart to heart with someone. Um, looking back at my previous decisions to ghost people, I know that it was my own weakness, my own insecurity, my own emotional immaturity. Um, 
and instead of finding the words to say, even if those words were flawed, even if those words didn't express exactly how I felt, I should have tried because instead of that, I just, I just X this person out. I just basically lost all contact. I lost all ability to repair that, you know, and all I can do now is just pray for closure. And I always do that. I pray for everyone in my life, even those who I don't speak to anymore. I pray that they are at peace, that they are happy. Um, I send them all my love, all my good energy and all my good vibes because I don't wish harm on anyone. It doesn't matter if I ghosted you. It doesn't matter if I still talk to you. I truly want the best for you. Even if I'm not a part of your life, I hope that you're winning. I hope that you're healthy. I hope that you are living the life of your dreams. And that is something that took years to kind of get here. I wouldn't say that I was this mature, you know, five years ago, even a few years ago. I was petty. I was, you know, more egotistical. I was driven by things that don't really matter. I found fault in others, but then I saw myself as somehow above that, which is completely wrong and it's completely unacceptable. Now I take radical responsibility, which I talked about in a previous video. Um, I'll link it up here. And I know that I am at fault for anything that happens to me. I don't blame others. Um, the only person that I can blame is myself. Overall, I hope that you build the courage and that you ask God for guidance and the words so that you're able to express yourself and have an actual conversation with someone instead of just ghosting, instead of just blocking, instead of just leaving it in the middle of a sentence. Um, I hope that this inspires you to do that, to be the bigger person, to not be so childlike. Um, because it makes a difference and people will respect you more for it. So that is what I have for you guys today. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. I love you so much and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.